Okay, in terms of application security, uh, well, we kind of define what um, goes into that, what's a, a part of application security, but um, application security threats. What kind of threats are we addressing? Um, now, this could be threats to application security, uh, but more broadly, um, uh, threats to our enterprise that are related to application security in a variety of ways. Um, and starting off with uh, some areas of um, database security, uh, the ever-present uh, and rather intractable um, threats in terms of aggregation and inference. Now, aggregation, um, and it's not related solely to uh, database security, but um, aggregation, putting uh, information from a variety of sources together. And um, the intelligence community uh, now would be very uh, familiar with the value of, of this type of attack in terms of open source intelligence. Um, that simply collecting uh, a lot of information which is available from a variety of sources for a variety of reasons can give you information about, uh, well, in, in regard to uh, some surprising details. Um, you know, if, if we are dealing with um, information uh, of economic situations, for example, and, and uh, transportation and, and uh, different kinds of prices and that sort of thing. Um, if we are dealing with uh, military, uh, you know, a, a, a war situation, um, those types of information, uh, pieces of information in, in regard to those areas, which may not seem to be, uh, you know, militarily valuable um, or particularly secret, um, still can give us information of, of military advantage. Um, for example, um, you know, preparations for war, troop movements, those types of things um, uh, can, you know, you can collect information, uh, uh, a lot of information about small points that add up w when you analyze them, when you, you know, perform the analysis, uh, you can get some, you know, very valuable information. So again, you know, this is a situation where um, uh, business competitors, maybe, uh, can obtain information from uh, orders that you were making, trucks parked in your parking lot from different companies, indicating um, who you are buying from, who you are contracting with, who you are uh, uh, dealing with, what types of companies um, you are uh, addressing, uh, working with, and that may uh, give them an indication of what you are doing, what kind of projects you are pursuing. Uh, so, uh, anyways, aggregation, putting, putting information together. Um, inference. Um, the, basically, taking information that you should have or could have or that nobody has considered important that you don't have and uh, from that information that you do have uh, or should have inferring other information that um, you shouldn't have that, that should be confidential that should be secret um, and uh, this is um, yeah, in, inference attacks uh, 
as I say, you know, the um, uh, research directions in, in database security, you know, talks about those inference attacks. And uh, it's very hard to uh, to figure out, you know, what to do about it. Um, uh, and, uh, well, the standard one that we talk about when we talk about um, differential privacy is uh, you should be able to in a particular community, in a particular town, um, know the average uh, salary for, uh, you know, people, individuals, families, whatever, in that town. Um, that doesn't betray anybody's uh, personal information. But if you can do um, the... Uh, you know, get the information of the average salary, and then, uh, uh, for example, if, if you're able to do this, um, ask for the average salary of about everybody except John Smith, uh, then it's fairly easy with those pieces of information to infer, do a calculation, which gives you John Smith's actual salary, uh, which is something that should be protected, should be private. So, um, inference attacks, uh, addressing those, those types of things. Um, object reuse, we have talked about physical object reuse, memory object reuse, um, uh, disk object reuse. Again, you know, uh, when we are storing information, whether it's in memory, whether it's in secondary storage, on disk, whatever, um, then is that information available to somebody else um buffer overflows of course we have had buffer overflows forever it has been known to be um a a potential attack forever and we have known the ways to deal with it forever and yet still people do not take the time to limit the amount of information uh, that can go into a particular input field uh, to uh, uh, you know, deal with it. Um, and, you know, people provide for open-ended input fields, uh, overflow the maximum buffer size, write information in there, um, all kinds of things that you can do with that. It's it's so depressing. Um, it's something that we know, have known. We know what to do, how to deal with it, and people don't don't deal with it. Uh, we have all kinds of issues that should be addressed, that we know how to address, that we should protect against, and we don't. Oh dear. Ah. Uh, Okay, let's, uh, we've got other threats to, to deal with. We're going to be talking about this for a while.